Hey everybody, this is Rosana Moduño. Welcome to the Rosana Mod uh, podcast on YouTube. And uh, I guess we can't really call it a podcast, well, just a video, right? Well, today I wanted to show you um, how to make those earrings that you guys commented on in my other video, which were these, using hot glue. Now, I made these with hot glue and I've been wanting to make a video. I just didn't really have the setup. Oh, my hands look huge. <laughs> my hands are not really that big, but whatever. Anyway, so how to make these using this. Hot, okay, I am not sponsoring. I'm not getting sponsored by anyone right now. So I'm not gonna mention any names. Uh, you know, just get whatever it is that you're, you're good at getting. Get it good, whatever. All right, so anyway, let's do this. Now, I'm trying to adjust this. My goodness, I hope you can see everything okay. It's kind of close, I suppose, but I guess it's good for you. So how do we do this? Now, I'm gonna make these similar, but I just don't have the, the stones. This is what I did, and this is what you need, okay? You're gonna need these stones. You can get these at the dollar store. They come in a sheet like that. They have small ones, and they even have these, which I, I'm just bringing them out to show you that these little stones pop right out and look like this. So I don't have two that are this, exactly the same. That's why I can't wear the earrings. I can't make the earrings, you know, like this because they're not similar. And I ran out of those stones. So today I'm going to use um, red. I'm gonna make the red earrings. And then I'm going to make like, put some small ones around it because I don't have these. So I'm just going to just wing it right now. Everything's an ad lib with me. So next thing you need is a spatula or something that you can peel the glue off. You can use your fingernails in your hands. I'm just showing you this because I like how it, neat, it comes out and it keeps the back part nice and smooth, you know, when you're peeling it off. Then I have this. The only reason I have two is because I don't want to use my nails to open up the jump rings when I'm putting these together. So I'm just going to have, I'm going to use one like this and the other one to open up the little jump rings. That's the only reason. If you can use your hands, then use your hands. A scissors is just a maybe. You don't really need it. Uh, a dry erase marker is for drawing the shape of what it is you want so you can follow. And then the nail polish. Now the nail polish I'm using today is, oh my gosh, did I not bring it? Yes, I did. That's right, I did have it. Is the silver. And try to remember that the more opaque your nail polish is, the better. Now this one's shiny, it's got a shine in it, it's already got some glitter on it, which I like because it'll be thick silver and it'll look really good with the red. Then the red is red glitter. So that's going to be just for touches, touch-ups. Now you have different types of glitter. I just wanted to show you, you have ones that are bigger size glitter, and then you have some that are really thin size glitter. And if you look at the colors on that, you can match the earring color to any of those colors, you'll be all right. You see what I mean? Because if, see, these are all red. If you were gonna put a green, you know, stone with this, you know, maybe you could wear it at Christmas or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Another thing I discovered today is I have no more parchment paper left. So I'm using the back of my stainless steel pan. And what I used is some olive oil. I dipped it into this and I just went around it because what happens then is you're going to see it's going to come off really smooth and it's going to be really fast how it dries. If you use wood, which is porous, the glue is going to take longer. If you use this plate, which is, uh, uh, you know, what is it? Whatever it is. You, what's going to happen here is it'll take about three minutes to dry, two to three minutes to dry. Here it'll take about one minute or less to dry. Okay, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So let's start. And since these are circles, you know, I'm not gonna try, I never use uh, measuring, I never even use this. I'm just using this to show you, because this is all freehand and you can tell because it's not really perfectly round, but you know, after a couple of tries, it comes out pretty good, so. How I did this is, 
is simple. You can see right there how I did it. So it's kind of like a snowman shape. So if you want to use your, your marker, you can. Now I'm not going to, I don't like using my marker. I'll be honest. I don't like using it, but let me just, I just don't, I don't like using it. Okay. So anyway, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm not even going to pay attention to that. Next tip is uh, you want to take this off because when you're doing this, it's going to ruin the, uh, control that you have on the gun. And just remember, the gun is only gonna have this kind of space. So that's how long it's gonna take for the glue to come out. So we're gonna do this now and I'm I'm gonna have a hard time seeing this. So I'm using my eyes on the camera and not on my stuff, which is really weird. See, now I ran out because the, tr you know, the trigger is done. Okay. It's really hard to, to see through the camera. Yikes. Okay. And then I just fill in the hole. Okay. While it's wet, you know, you can move it around and you can do whatever you gotta do. You could do that, you know, move it around while it's wet. Okay. Okay, there's one. Oops, I forgot to put the other thing on. All right, so let me just go by eye. I'm just gonna do the other one like this, okay? I'm just gonna look. I'm gonna do it like this because I need to see what I'm doing and I can't see through the, okay? These are gonna come out huge. Not for nothing, but these are way bigger than the other ones. Well, that's okay. I can trim it. That's what the scissors for. I haven't done these in a while, damn. I'm gonna practice. All right, so then you put this back, which is going to, you know, and these right there, those are my little accidents. I was practicing t this morning before I did the video. So I made a whole bunch of little little things here, you know, whatever. So that's that's that right there. Okay. So now, as you can see, you know, they're not the same exact shape. It's going to come out okay cuz I'm going to um I'm going to trim it, okay? Now look at the bubbles. If you see the bubbles on there, I don't know if you can see if you can see little bubbles on there, it doesn't matter because you're going to be painting over that. Okay, I'm going to use this first. I'm going to test it out first. See if it's ready. Not ready. Almost ready. I don't trust it 100%. And don't worry about the marker because the marker is actually, um, you know, let me get that out of there. The marker is actually, uh, what do you call it? You know, dry erase. So it'll come right off. And besides, you're gonna paint it anyway, so what do you care? Okay. This is already dry. I'm just making sure that it comes out nice. Okay. It's a process. I mean, it's not something that you just, woo, it's done. You know, it's an actual process. All right, there you go. And um, like I said, this is dry erase. So it comes right off, okay? And this one, this was a little tricky because this one came out kind of sloppy. I think the parchment paper is just so much easier. I don't have any more parchment paper, so really I don't bake. So it's not like, where, where am I gonna get that? All right, so there you go. So this is done. And like I said, the, the uh, don't worry about the marker. All right. So this is one and this is two. And as you can tell, it doesn't look like much, but it, it will be. So then you just trim what you want. Like I'll just trim, it's hard to, oh my gosh. 
excuse me, I am so sorry. I'm trying to, I've never used this thing before. It's on my, it's actually taped to my chest. And, you know, my chest is a little big, so it's kind of hard to keep it, to keep it good. All right, so, well, I've never had to do this before without looking at what I'm actually doing. And then you just trim it. Just try. I mean, you know what? This is totally different. It's gonna come out totally bigger. I don't care. You know what? I'm doing this for you guys. So you can actually see it. And you know what? Not for nothing, but it's never gonna come out the same. Each one is never gonna come out the same. They're always gonna be different unless you use some type of a mold. And you can use a mold. Okay, so they came out a lot smaller <laughs> than they were originally. I cut a lot off. And um, so they came out smaller, but that's okay. Cause you know what? Somebody said, I, I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry. I don't have my, my stuff up right now, but that they can't wear big earrings. So maybe you could wear these. All right, so I tried to trim it as close as I could, you know, by putting it on top of each other and cutting it that way. Let me just make sure, let's see. Yeah, you know, I'm sure you have other ways, I mean, that you can figure it out and you could trim it to, to make it perfect or you could heat it or I don't know, or you could file it down actually with this, which by the way, I wanted to show you, um, it's for the nails and it actually works good for these little things right here. If you wanted to, I mean, you know, but I'm just showing you, I'm not going to do that now. So now, uh, after that's done, this is the base. So it's like basically it's the base. You can see how it's rounded over here. It's rounded because, and this is flat, because this is the base, okay? What comes on here is another layer of glue. And that other layer of glue is going to hold these. This already has adhesive behind it. So keep that in mind, okay? I'll keep that over there so that I can lift it up easier. And then, <clears throat> okay, let me, trying to do it while I, while I do it. I'm just gonna do the bottom first because um, only the bottom I'm doing, okay? I'm doing the bottom, spin it around. Now I'll show you what happens. Just do that down. Then I take the red, and this is the tricky part because it's hot now, okay? It's hot, you're gonna drop it in there, okay? And when you drop it, you're gonna squeeze down. Do you see what I just did? You squeeze it down, you press it, and there's the circle. There's how, that's how that works. <clears throat> Here, I'll show you the other one. Okay, you just, you're just you gonna put a layer. You're not gonna go all the way to the edge. Don't go to the edge, because if you go to the edge, it's like, it's like the peanut butter sandwich. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna put the jelly on the edge because then it'll, <laughs> it'll go all over the place. It's the best description I can give you. So you, don't, you wanna leave the edges open because when you put this in there and press it down, it's gonna do that gonna spread and there it is that's the front so it's gonna be the same it's going to be the same it's gonna be you're gonna put a little bit not a lot just a little bit a little bit right there a little bit right there okay then you're gonna take the pink oops this doesn't have oh this one doesn't have adhesive nice this is where you need a little uh, tweezer or something. You're gonna put it on there. <clears throat> and then you're gonna press that down. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna press it down closer to the end of the bottom and you're gonna leave a space here on the top because that's where the jump ring's gonna go. So don't forget that. Oops, I already did that, okay. This one does have adhesive, oops. 
Yeah, you gotta work fast with this because it dries pretty quick. Ow. Okay, so. All right, let me put this on pause real quick. Okay, so I'm back with my Dremel. And I used, um, I'm using the, the one of the thinnest ones that they have. I'm not happy with this way this one came out because I, I burned myself on it. Um, it's hard to, to do it when you have this camera strapped to your chest, to be honest. Like, doesn't that look like pixels? It looks like there's a movie going on in there. I don't know. Anyway, so, so I get the Dremel and um, basically I'm just going to turn it on and make holes. Okay, let me see. Yeah, that came out pretty good. Okay. I think by now you're like, oh yeah, she could have done this and that. And I welcome your ideas. Thank you. Because sometimes I'm used to doing it one way and I'm very open to hearing other options. That's how you learn, you know? See? Ah, this is where the flat nose comes in. Crap. Where the hell is my flat nose? I don't know where it is. All right, so, and then you always turn that over so it's on the inside. You can't see it, so there's that. Okay, you pause this and I'll do the other one. The, mo the more opaque, the better, okay? Anyway, so the back did not come out 100% on one of them. The back came out really good on this one. This is it right there. Then, then I put the glitter which remember when I said the pink isn't going to match with the red, it, I'm going to make it match now because it's going to be put on this. Sorry, that's my dog. She's very loud. <laughs> so then I'm going to put like, uh, I'm going to put it on this part. This is really hard to see. I have to find a new way to set this up to record. Because like I said, I'm, that's the only reason that's prevented me from recording before is not having the right equipment to set up the overhead. But anyway, so I have, okay, so I have that right there. And I'm just gonna leave it maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Let me see. Let me see if I do it all over. Cause I don't know. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe I'll just brush the top part. Make it look kind of like a vintage -y kind of look. I don't know if you see it the way I do, but it's like a like a vintage -y kind of thing. So you see, see how it came out crooked over here? And it came out not perfect. I kind of like it when it looks like that because um, it looks like it's handmade. And I like it when it looks like it's handmade. You know how when you see those, I'm not going to compare mine to, of course, like a treasure, but you know like when you see treasures in the deep ocean and they pull them out and sometimes they're, they're really, uh, the gold is all, you know, bent out of shape or it has like dents in it and stuff. And I like that kind of jewelry. I'm just gonna put a little more. And if you ever get anything on the plastic, on the plastic gemstone, the fake gemstone, all you gotta do is just get a Q-tip or a piece of corner of a tissue or something and just uh, wipe it down with some nail polish remover and you're good. All right, so this is our all done. I just have to put the hooks on, hold on. Okay, so we're done. And here they are and we are good to go. I'm gonna put these on. Uh, later at the end of the show or introduce it to whatever. So this is a four when I'm into four, three and a half minutes right now, plus the 18 minutes before. So figure 22 minutes, let's just say half an hour. You know, that's how long it takes to make. I know that they didn't come out perfect. I didn't put any glitter on the back. I kind of like them like that. It's up to you, but you get the idea. Okay, and they are a lot smaller than the other ones I made. 
they're a lot smaller, okay? And uh, I used a different type of glitter here. You know, the nail polish was thicker, but, ow. But this one is, uh, I didn't put as much, but I like it. You know what? I like it and I will be wearing these out, all right? Thank you, I hope that helped anybody. And I have some more ideas coming soon. So um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you some other, other things to do, some other types of earrings. We're gonna go without the gems and see what it looks like just doing regular glue shapes, different types of shapes, and then using different types of uh, things. All right, talk to you soon. God bless you. And what do we say? We say ciao.